The city attorney's office says it's investigating why a San Rafael police officer dropped off a mentally ill man in San Francisco, leaving him alone in a residential area with no resources. ABC 7 News anchor Liz Kreutz is live with more on this story you'll see only on 7. Liz. Hi, Ama. Yes, the incident was caught on video, and you really have to do a double take. This was a San Rafael police officer essentially dumping a homeless man in San Francisco. The police department is now apologizing, but the people who live in the neighborhood want to know why he was brought across county lines and why he was not provided any resources. It's not something San Franciscans might expect to see, but here it is caught on camera. A San Rafael police officer from Marin County dropping off a man who appears to be homeless and mentally ill on 14th Avenue in San Francisco. A shocked neighbor who asked not to be identified recorded this video from her home across the street. She says after the officer unloaded the man and his belongings, he then drove off. The neighbors who saw what happened say after the man was dropped off here, he started causing trouble in the neighborhood. He seemed to light something on fire and then started throwing rocks and undressing in a driveway. San Francisco Police Department and San Francisco Fire were then called to respond. They arrived about 35 minutes after the man was left by San Rafael PD. San Francisco is not a dumping ground. San Francisco City Attorney David Chu says his office is now investigating. It's disturbing to think that Another jurisdiction would drop someone experiencing homelessness or mental health challenges in the middle of a residential neighborhood with no services or resources around it. It doesn't make for a good outcome. I do want to acknowledge that um, we made a mistake. Lieutenant Scott Herbaly is a spokesperson for the San Rafael Police Department. He told us the officer should never have driven the man into San Francisco or any other outside county. What this looks like is a situation where San Rafael PD didn't want to deal with this person, so just brought them to San Francisco to let the city deal with it. I understand that's what it looks like, and I want to extend our apologies not only to the San Francisco community, that neighborhood, but to the first responders that had to deal with this subject. Chu says his office is looking into how often this could be happening. He pointed to a 2013 lawsuit San Francisco filed against the state of Nevada for dumping mentally ill patients in the Bay Area. Chu says legal action now is not off the table either. We will look to hold any jurisdiction accountable that's proven to engage in this behavior. Any jurisdiction that's thinking about doing this needs to think twice. And the spokesperson for the San Rafael Police Department says he believes the man asked to be taken to San Francisco after he was picked up at the Northgate Mall where he had been causing a disturbance. He said still he should not have been driven here. They are addressing the issue internally with both the officer involved and with the supervisor on duty who approved him doing this. In the newsroom, Liz Kreutz, ABC 7 News. So, Liz, what should have been done? I mean, how should San Rafael police have handled this when they picked him up? Right. So San Rafael PD says they really could have tried to find him shelter or guided him to public transportation like a bus stop. Unfortunately, they do say resources are limited on where to take a person like this. So that's a bigger issue that could be addressed. But still, they say unequivocally they should not have taken him to San Francisco. Amma. All right, Liz, thank you so much.